All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make um, these hot glue faux wax seals. Um, what you're gonna need is some paper, a circle punch, your hot glue with a low temp glue gun, your deco color pen from the box, or you can get this Krylon gold leaking pen and your stamp. You also got some little paper rounds that are already cut out, so you can use those too. You don't have to get the punch and get new paper, you can just use those. But I'm gonna show you my techniques for making these wax seals. Let me explain my setup. I have parchment paper underneath. This is Reynolds brand. Um, I like it because the seals don't stick to it, neither does the glue. Some off brands of parchment paper, the glue and sealing wax does stick to it. So I have that down and I just have a big sheet of it. And I have my low temp glue gun heating up my hot glue um, sticks that were in the box. I have an ice pack here. This is like a gentle compress and I like it because it's like fabric. Um, anyway, so I just have my stamp sitting on it. This is the one from the holiday box. It's getting nice and cold. Something that I like to do when I'm coloring with the gold, it's easier to color if you have a stamp that has a deeper impression. So for this example, the one in your holiday box has a nice deep impression. It will be easy to color versus this one is very shallow. So it's harder to color on. So anytime I make these seals um, that have the gold gilding on them, I make sure that I have deeper, the designs that I'm choosing have deep impressions. So it makes them a little easier to color. So let's get started making some. So if you're making the ones from your box, they're already punched out into circles, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I just have this one inch punch, it's from Hobby Lobby. You could get one of these like at any craft store or online. And then what I do is I just punch the paper. So, and I just go around until I get the number that I need. And I'll take the circles out. And some of them you can see the design isn't as good, um, like doesn't look as pretty on the paper. Um, which might be okay if I'm using a stamp that covers most of it, but then other ones will look really nice. So I usually punch a bunch, um, and then I'll choose the best ones that I'm actually going to use. Okay, now I'm going to be putting the glue on. I'm just going to go right over the paper. It's about two squeezes is how much it takes. And then I'm going to take my stamp and I'm gonna put it right in the center and I can see through the glue so I can try to center it onto the paper. And I'm gonna do one more. And I wanna make sure that these stamps have been on ice so they're nice and cold so it's not a problem. The other thing you can pay attention to is the paper and making your stamp line up with the paper depending on your stamp design um, like these. If the flowers are going in a certain direction, then you'd want the stamp to also be going in that direction. So I'm gonna let them cool and then we'll pull them off. Okay, I've let them sit for a little while and I can tell they're done because they're coming right off the parchment paper. With hot glue, you're gonna get those little stringy things, so just pull them off and then you can just pull your stamp off. And it should come off really easily, um, especially if you've had it on the ice pack. That is the key. So that one just popped right off really easy. So we have those and the next step is to color. So we can use our deco color pen and I can just start going over the designs and just go over all of it. Okay, so you can see in this one, I've got all the design colored and I'm gonna let it dry and I'm not gonna touch it. This one I started on the rim and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll rotate and do the other side and do all the way down on this side too. So it does take a little longer if you do decide to do the rim too, um, but it's so pretty when you finish it. The other pen that I like to use to do this is um, a Krylon gold leafing pen. Um, and I like it because the tip is bigger. So 
depending on, I mean, if you're just doing a couple of these, it's no big deal to use this pen. And I love this pen too, because um, besides this one, it's one of the only other ones I've found that will actually color onto the hot glue or sealing wax. But if you did get one of these, I'll share the link because I love it. It's just a lot quicker because the tip is so much larger. So I just go around and I'll do the whole rim in one go. And then after I let that dry for like 20 or 30 minutes, then I'll go back and do the design. So this isn't something that you can finish right away. It does take time because it has to dry. Um, but this is a great pen option if you're going to be doing a bunch of these. Uh, for Christmas cards or just uh, your Christmas gifts or something, this is a great little investment and I'll share the link to that.